So in this video we are basically going to talk about trackmates and alpha channel. You're probably wondering why that is, but we're going to go into sections. First we're going to talk about the trackmates and then talk about the alpha channel. We're going to move into after effects and see exactly what happens with those. Basically we might have a background like that, so this is what we can do with trackmates. Basically what we are having is alpha mate, inverted, luma mate and luma inverted mate. Basically what alpha does is that it lends its alpha channel into the next layer on top. In this case our next layer, the layer directly on top is track mate and it's white. So if I choose alpha mate, that's what happens, directly appearing inside the text, okay? And uh, if I choose luminous, luminous affects the brightness and the luminosity of the text or of the layer above. When you see alpha inverted mate, it's just doing the opposite, okay? So in this case, the words are black. Here is a normal trick I use for it. In case I don't want to keep uh, going into a different composition, uh, using the stencil alpha blending mode and then moving that composition back here, basically this is what I do. So I can add a ton of elements, might add something else directly here on top. Okay, so if I'm having a different layer and I change the blending mode here to add, basically that's what I'm having. If I change this to alpha mate, and I move both of them on top. I don't need to keep creating a different pre-composition every time I want to create something like that. So that's a trick I use alpha mates and luma mates for. For those wondering what um, alpha means, basically we have um, four channels, especially while working with motion graphics. We have RGB, which is red, green, and blue. And then we have a fourth one we call alpha. Alpha is for transparency. Okay, so basically that's what we are looking for, transparency. If you're working in After Effects, this is what you have. You're having text like, we say now alpha, okay? I'm using text, but same exact concept with shapes at every other layer you put in, okay? If I'm having my text right there, uh, I don't have any background directly. I don't have any solid directly under the background. I'm just having that. If I come and toggle this, okay, it says toggle transparency grid. It's going to show us this gray white checker box that shows transparency so that's what it is so we can have the text in whichever color we want we're going to change the color to red and click ok and see that everything else is going to be transparent okay so we're going to bring this couple this composition directly on top of this and we're going to see what happens we're going to turn this off it's right there if I bring it directly on top, it says alpha because it was transparent. If it's not, we create a new solid and we let it be blue. When I put it in the background, you see, even though we toggle the transparency grid, nothing happens. And if I go back to that composition, it's exactly what we are having. Alpha basically contains the transparency information in the video or in the graphics that you're creating. That's a pretty useful thing because you're going to, in case you're exporting something like lower thirds from After Effects and you're going to use them in a Premiere or Resolve, you need to export them as an alpha channel video. So basically that's what an alpha channel is. If you're ever working on something or an animation and you need it to be transparent, all you need to do is make sure this turbo transparency grid is on and you're seeing the real white checker box. After that, whatever you're working on will be transparent. The other key factor will be your export settings, which we are going to talk about. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.